Today we are doing Chapter Algebra 1 Review. We are still on the second set of notes. We're at the bottom of the page. We're going to be talking about solving literal equations, so you're going to solve for the indicated variable. For letter A, it says solve for x, which means they want you to isolate x as much as possible. The way we isolate variables is to determine what operation we see and what would the opposite operation be. So right now we have a bunch of multiplication. To get rid of multiplication, to undo it, we would do the opposite, which would be division. If I want x to be by itself, that means everything next to it needs to go. So I'm going to divide both sides by yz. By doing that, the y's and the z's cancel. x is now by itself, and we would say x equals v over yz. And that is our answer. Letter B says solve for B. Again, that means I want B to be by itself, which means the other variables need to go. Here I have addition, so to undo addition, we would do subtraction. So I'm going to subtract C from both sides, and I'm going to subtract D from both sides. By doing that, I now have B by itself. The way I would write the other side, I would just kind of list it in order. So it's A minus C minus D. And by doing that one step, I got B by itself. Letter C says solve for D. So don't think it's always whatever the first variable is in the equation. It changes. It just depends what the directions indicate. Again, here I have multiplication. So to undo multiplication, we're going to divide both sides by C squared. On the right-hand side, they are canceling leaving d by itself, so d equals b over c squared. Notice for literal equations you don't get a numerical answer, you get an answer with all variables in it, just manipulate it. Talking about restrictions, uh, the only time we'll have a restrictions is if you have a fraction. So we know that we can never divide by zero, um, that's just a property. If you divide by zero, you get undefined. So here the restriction is y and z. So we would say y cannot equal zero and z cannot equal zero. If either one of those values are zero, when I multiply them together, I would get zero in the denominator, therefore yielding an undefined answer. So y and z cannot be zero. Same thing for letter C. Again, um, I have this denominator right here, so c squared cannot equal 0 to solve for ci square root, but the square root of 0 is still 0, so c cannot equal 0. And we'll do a little bit more practice on that on whiteboards when we see each other in class. That's all for today.